All right, here we're going to do our first example of using L'Hopital's rule. So this is going to be a relatively simple one, but it's good because it's going to sort of emphasize the point and how to use L'Hopital's rule. So before we use L'Hopital's rule, what we always want to do is direct substitution when we're evaluating a limit. So if we want to evaluate the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x over x by direct substitution, what's going to happen? Well, so as x goes to 0, where does sine of x go? Sine of x goes to sine of 0, which is 0. What happens on the bottom? Well, as x goes to 0, then x goes to 0. Okay, not much going on there. So we end up with 0 over 0, which makes a sad face. But actually, we can be happy face because since we got 0 over 0, we can use L'Hopital's rule. So remember, if we do direct substitution uh, when evaluating a limit and we get an indeterminate form, then that tells us we can use L'Hopital's rule. So since we got 0 over 0, we can actually use L'Hopital's rule right away. So. If we use L'Hopital's rule, then what we're going to get is limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x over x. Now, remember, L'Hopital's rule says this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of the derivative of the top divided by the derivative of the bottom. Okay, so we're not doing quotient rule. Okay, even though we have a quotient right here, we're not doing the quotient rule. We're taking the derivative of the top and the bottom separately. So we're not taking the derivative of the entire thing as a quotient, so be careful about that. Uh, it is a common pitfall when you're first starting out with L'Hopital's rule, but with more practice, it'll become more natural. So, and it's also nice because this is easier than taking the, than using the quotient rule. So, if we take the derivative of the top just by itself, well, the top is sine of x, okay, and the derivative of sine of x is just cosine of x, right? So, on the top, we just have cosine of x. Now, on the bottom, we just have an x. So, what's the derivative of x? Well, it's just one, okay. So. When we use L'Hopital's rule on this problem here, limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x over x. Well, if we take the derivative of the top, we get cosine of x. Derivative of the bottom, we get 1. So now, let's try direct substitution again, and maybe it'll work this time. So when we do direct substitution, what are we going to get? Well, as x goes to 0, where does cosine of x go? It goes to cosine of 0, which we know to be 1. What happens on the bottom? We still just have 1. Okay. So since 1 is just a constant, whatever x is doing doesn't affect that down here, so we still just have a 1. So cosine of 0 is 1, so we have 1 divided by 1, which is 1. So that's the answer to our problem. Limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x over x equals 1. And we just found that out by L'Hopital's rule. So that's one example of using L'Hopital's rule. And this was one where we have the indeterminate form 0 over 0. More indeterminate forms coming up in the next few videos.